neighbors and hybrid nerds and all my little gravy babies. Happy Latch Up back again with a brand new series. A series I'm calling Creative Chaos, where I go into different video games in either creative mode or with mods on and just try and test all these crazy, wacky experiments that come to my little brain or that I see posed out there in the various communities. Now, for this first one, I am in Hydraneer, as you can see, the game that I have been playing currently for my Gravy Let's Play V. And we have done it, folks, in a game full of ridiculous ways to turn a profit. I think we found the most ridiculous way to turn a profit. Thanks to user OptiDev on Reddit, who says they have found an infinite money glitch involving, uh, you guessed it, cooking boots. Uh, we're talking shoe flay here. We're talking chicken noodle shoe. We're talking boot loops. We're talking Timberland Gweenie. We're talking Kraft Yeezy Mac, people. We're talking uh, Jordan Jambalaya. You know, I've got a million of these. Maybe just those. Who knows? But Appalachia, you can't eat boots. You, shut up, nerd. Yes, you can. I'm going to have to put a disclaimer now. Not to eat boots because... I don't know. People did it with the Tide Pods, you know? I don't I don't know why that was a thing. But it was. So don't eat boots, uh, real or otherwise. So user Opta underscore dev goes on to say, Hi, I don't know if this glitch has already been posted here. I play Hydraneer with my brother since some days in split screen, and it's great. As you know, fish can be cooked in a small furnace to gain an extra 10% worth. You can also fish boots. So I assumed that boots are fish in the game logic, so I tried to cook boots, and it worked. But for some reason, when you drop coins in a well, coins are converted into a boot. So you just need to put money in the well, get your boot, and cook it. Sell it to the jeweler, and that's it. You just gain 10% on your initial investment, and you can obviously sell your boot and restart the process to get an infinite money glitch. But beware, if you overcook your boot, you may lose everything. Use a waiter to know the price of the boot and don't cook it for too long. So, breaking down that concept, it seems that since you can fish for fish, and every now and then a little boot pops up that the game sees boots as fish. Doesn't make sense? Me either. I have no idea why that would work. But we're going to put that theory to the test today and see if it really is one of the most ridiculous ways to make money. It's called creative chaos for a reason, baby. But I wanted to do this the right way way. That means starting out just like a pilgrim here, using the shovel and the pans and the buckets and panhandling my way to just a little bit of Hydra coins. And then as most of y'all know, if you take those coins, dump it into a well, it turns into a boot. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to cook that boot. So without any further ado, let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my shovel up run over here to where all the good stuff is beautiful we'll leave this here dump this right down there where we need it get this over here we'll stay over to the edge just because that makes it easier that little bucket's already running around everywhere i'm just going to take a few minutes and fill this up a few times and see where we get to all right, folks, we got about seven, eight buckets worth. And as you can see, we got some gold in there, some iron, even a little bit of cloudium. And we are going to go ahead, run this to the jeweler and see how much money I've got to start with in this crazy experiment. All right, here we are. Boom. Drop that on there. 147. Sure. Now that we got our cash, let's go ahead, drop it in this well, and get our first boot and start cooking. Boot? What the? That's a $147 boot? That's so big. Who the hell's down in that well, Shaq? Golly, that boot's bigger than your mom. I don't... You see right there, folks, that that boot is 
worth the 147 we dropped in the well. Now let's uh, let's see how this pans out. We are actually going to just go ahead, spawn that stuff in. I just wanted to start from the beginning with the hand panning to kind of see, you know, a really minuscule amount turned into a ginormous, ridiculous amount through the treachery of my own device and torment. So, alakazam. Woo. All right. Now, this might take a minute to perfect as I've never actually used any of the cooking mechanics in this game. So, there might be a little learning curve. Bear with me. And here goes nothing, folks. It's time to cook my first boot. First, we are going to go ahead and call in a little magic wand. Alakazam. There we go. All right, and I'm going to dupe this boot a couple times just in case I mess up. Because let's be honest, that is most likely going to happen several times. All right, let's get this big honking honey. I don't want to hold it over there right now. Is it working? Is my boot cooking? How can I even tell? Is it getting darker? Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> It does. It works. Oh my god. I got a burnt boot. See now I lost all my money. That is worthless. Let's actually let's go to the jeweler and just see how worthless. Dun 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 burnt boot one hydra coin. This is gonna be tricky because you can't even like tell it it's getting like brown or anything. Now I'm gonna do what some of you nerds call science. And I am going to do a few runs of this and kind of keep time and, and kind of see where that little magic spot is to keep it from being burned. So I'm going to go ahead and burn maybe a couple more of these bad boys and figure that out before I start this insanity. All right, let's go. That seemed to be about 15 seconds. All right, that was 14 by my count anyway. Now let's see if this cooked boot is worth 10% more than the initial 147. Ooh, I'm excited. This is crazy pants. First, get this stupid burnt boot out of here. Get out of here. I want the, where is that thing? Uh, see ya. Oh, sh. All right. Okay, now, moment of truth, people, here we go, 161, that is crazy. Opti underscore dev, you were absolutely correct in your findings, and we are going to exploit this until we get a million dollars. One million, no, a one billion dollars. One billion dollars. Maybe one one billion might be too much. I don't want to. One bill. Yeah, let's just do like I don't know. Maybe like a million. We'll do a million dollars. I don't know how he says it. Fuck it. All right. So the next step is to sell this boot. Take that one sixty one. Turn it into another boot. Boom. Big old boot, head back down to the grill. All right, now the 161 boot is cooked. And we're gonna see how much this one is now worth. 10% of 161, so it should be about 16 more. So we're looking at 161 plus 16 is 177. 176, yeah, yeah. We're about right. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Let's keep this baby rolling. So, oh, this is going to take a while. And I just realized I'm wasting way too much time running back and forth between bases when I can absolutely build anywhere. You know why? That's right, because it's creative chaos, baby, and I can do what I want. So, what's up? Now that we got everything in order to speed it up a little bit, it's still going to take hours and hours and hours. Ooh, fun note, you can just hold it over the furnace and cook it that way. 
No! You know what? I deserve this. So now, we're starting at one. Dog bag at one. <sighs> Tiny little bitch boo. All right, now we are back on a roll. And there it is, the $500 boot. And we did it, people. A $1,000 boot just from cooking it, starting with one forty-seven. Oh, that took more time than I care to admit. Opta underscore dev, you crazy son of a bitch. Yes, that is in fact an infinite money glitch, but it is a very time consuming glitch as well. Now we're moving right along. Oh God, why am I doing this? And there it is folks, five thousand hydra coins starting with just 147 and it's only been like six hours that's insane but you know we never said this was the most efficient way to get free money it's just free money still probably a, a long time before i reach a hundred thousand i think i said i was gonna do a million oh man no that's uh, can i do I have that kind of time? I mean, uh, you know what? I'm crazy. Let's do it. And in about five-ish minutes, we went from 5,000 to 10,000. This is moving a lot quicker now. Uh, still a long way to go. Someone call my therapist, please. And in just under 10 minutes, we are now over 50,000. <laughs> Oh, weird. This, we started with a measly 147, and now we've got 53,000 Hydra Coins. Literally mined just enough for 147 Hydra Coins, and now we are here. Woo! I want to sleep. Whoa, mama, am I Fred Durst? Because we are rolling, rolling, rolling right along. That is right, 100,000 now uh, from 50,000 in under like five minutes, right under five minutes. This may not take as long as I previously thought. 200,000, woo, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it going. Oh, we're halfway there, oh. Who fucking cares? Um, what a dumb waste of time this is. It's, uh, don't you ever forget, Happy Latcha doing the dumb, stupid shit that you don't have time for, because he does. Oh, man. Mom, can you come pick me up? I don't want to cook these stupid boots anymore. Oh, God. <sighs> We're here. We made it. Oh, okay, here it goes. Oh, man. Finally. Okay, let's get this done and dusted out and over with. It's just, You just dropped the damn money, man. Ooh, here it comes. A million dollars. I made a million dollars cooking boots and I'd do it all again if I had to. This is awesome and this is great. Good. Uh, uh, no! Motherfucker! <sighs> oh, don't worry. That didn't take hours out of my life. I didn't have to start over too many times. Why would I even give a shit? Holy fuck. <sighs> uh, well, uh, hey. That's what happens in creative chaos, baby. You know, you got your creative. Then you got your chaos. So many burnt boots. But we did witness firsthand a very time-consuming infinite money glitch by cooking boots. Theory proven, baby. Creative chaos. That's what it's here for. That's what it does. We test theories. We do crazy shit so you don't have to in your favorite games. We are going to be doing a lot more crazy stuff on this channel. Not limited to just cooking, but I'm in the water. Huge shout out to Opti underscore dev from Reddit for finding this cool little bug 
glitch, feature, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure you get out there and you try it yourself before they patch this little baby. That's right, I'm going to read Rainbow your ass. Don't take my word for it. Go read the... I don't... What does he say? But don't take my word for it. Go and load up Hydraneer and give this glitch a try today. Just make sure you have a pan, shovel, bucket, brush, and a lot of damn time because wowie, zowie. I'll never get those hours back. Ever. Holy moly ravioli, that looks like all the time we have for Creative Chaos today. A series that utilizes a little creativity and a whole lot of chaos. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you liked it, hit that little thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, please. And ring the bell, share with your friends the whole nine yards, because I'm not going anywhere. I'll be uploading gaming content weekly right here on this channel, so please stay tuned for more. And as always, I've been Happy Latcha, you've been wonderful, thank you for tuning in to Game Gravy Presents Creative Chaos, I'll see you next time. Whatcha? Hit that outro.